Welcome back to episode three of iRacing for Beginners. Today, we're going to hop back into our test session and talk about some of the different options you have while watching replays so you can watch yourself back, learn some things, maybe create a replay to watch back and save for later. Uh, it's pretty simple, so let's get into it. Now, the same is going to apply for screenshots. When you complete a lap, say, we can hit this button to go lap by lap we only ran one so the next one's on pit road but if we start this lap back from when we left pit road say i want to take a picture right here right well we're going through the tunnel turn turn to a pocono i could hit control f12 on my keyboard and use wasd to move this camera around we can switch between camera angles here maybe i'm going to go rear chase zoom out a little bit go like this or maybe i'll take a take a nice head-on shot of this car right in front of the banner, zoom in with the field of view. Um, we can adjust some different settings. There's static, which allows the camera to stay statically and not on the car, so you can adjust it in different ways. I'm not some guru necessarily with the camera options. I know some people get crazy with taking amazing, super realistic screenshots. Um, I do know how to take some of these and put them in Photoshop to edit them and make them look a little better. Um, but in this specific circumstance um, I just kind of know the basics of moving the camera around and getting it where I want it now in addition to taking a screenshot uh, what I actually do is instead of using a screenshot hotkey I use the snipping tool app on Windows um, so if you see it right here I have it on my monitor to the side I hit new and then I literally drag and create an image like that and that's pretty much all I do so it's really simple um, that's the easiest way that I do it. I take screenshots and then enter them into another program, uh, like Photoshop or Lightroom to make them look more realistic or a little bit better. While using the camera settings, we can fast forward, we can back up, we can go frame by frame, forwards or backwards, we can skip ahead, we can skip back to the beginning. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead and then I'm going to use this lap button to get to where I want to. And then if you want to just play in real time, you can either use this the space bar to uh, get rid of the banner and everything in the background, like while taking a screenshot. And then you could just play in real time like this. That's actually slow motion. You can keep clicking it to make it slower and slower. Uh, real time would be just using the play button in the middle. So if you want to take a replay, say right here when I get to this white line and leave pit road, I'm going to hit this tool button. I'm going to clip right there and then i'm going to play as much as i want so maybe i want to go all the way back around the track to the start finish line okay i'm going to right when i get to the start finish line is where i want this recording to end well if that's the case right there you know i could even use frame by frame to get it exactly where i want it then all i have to do is click this file save button right here name it and save it and it'll go to your replays folder and then that's where it'll pop up in the ui as we saw earlier when learning how to navigate that you can open it up and enter the sim through a replay and watch things back. So pretty cool if you have a special race you want to highlight or remember. Maybe you, you clip, if not the whole race, just a portion. Or maybe you have a, a great save or a, a fast lap or an exciting battle with someone. You can clip just that portion of the event by doing it just like that. Well, that sums up the basics of actually capturing a screenshot and creating a replay on iRacing. Hopefully you found that useful. Like I said, I'm not the best at any of that. Um, I kind of just know the general gist of things when it comes to it, but hopefully you found it useful and insightful. If you did, leave a like and leave a comment on what other content you'd like to see in this iRacing for Beginners series. Until next time, I'm Anthony Alfredo, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.